Hi, my name is John Walter, and I'm here to talk about the True Mirror. This is a mirror that I make, have been making for the last 20 years, that when you look into it, for the first time you're actually not backwards. You see yourself the way, you, the, way the world sees you. This actually matters, it makes a difference. And I'm here to talk about why this should be so, and, and what's the implication of it. So, I'm actually looking into it right now. You can see, if I, if I look at myself here, I'm actually seeing myself as a person, the way you would see it. I can help prove that if I hold some writing up. See this uh, patch of flower here? You actually, actually you can read the writing, correct? And normally what happens in a mirror looks like this. Notice how the, the, the writing is backwards. Now, in every day when you look in a mirror, when you make eye contact, you're backwards too. And that changes us. Our eyes are very different left to right. And when you make eye contact, you're in a feedback loop that has that changed information in it. And very quickly, natural expressions stop being natural, and you tend to just stare. You tend to do this. And it's so easy to just go, eh, to ourselves. And I've seen kids as little as five years old do that to themselves, go, eh, you know, eh, nothing to see here. And that's not true. That's not necessarily true about us as people. We're human beings. We have this amazing energy, amazing, amazing vitality. And we never get to see it. Every day we look in a mirror, it goes like this. Ugh. Okay? So, see, when I'm looking at, at the camera here, I actually can, I'm not in that feedback loop anymore. I can just be myself talking to the camera. Hopefully I do a good job here. But what happens when I look in a mirror, all that energy goes away. It gets weird. And we tend to do this, all of us, just look in the mirror with like just a very expressionless face, too serious and often very self-critical. So in comparison, if I look in this mirror, now, now I'm actually seeing myself as I am without being backwards. So when I look at the camera here, you're seeing me, the camera reflects me without being backwards and who I am and how I communicate. This is, this is me. But I can look back and see that same person. He's still there. And especially when I look and if I try to smile or anything, there's light there. And it's light with meaning. I go, oh, there you are. Okay, see the vitality there? See the energy? I can, you can see it here because I'm looking at the camera, and this is how we share ourselves with the world. And I can look back and see that, oh, there, you're still there. Now see that same light? If I do this, it'll last for a second. See, that it, there's, there's not sparkling. It's not from the light from the air here. It's just that there's light with meaning, and it doesn't match anymore. There's no warmth in it. And so very quickly, I just start to go like this. And then I do that, and that's what happens to us. As opposed to this, I can just still be present. So this is a really simple concept, two mirrors at right angles to form the true mirror, but the effect is profound. It's like, oh my God, we can finally see who we really are. What is this doing for us? What, what can this do for us? If we grew up with this, if we never had to reconcile on a daily basis this version of us, which is like, eh, and takes us out of the picture as a, as a person, now we're just seeing a body that doesn't actually communicate right, as opposed to this, you know, with my full range of feelings and emotions and naturalness and genuineness. This is what we're doing. This is why I'm doing the true mirror. I don't know if we can do this. It's, it's, it's amazing because it's all about eye contact. When I look at the camera, I can imagine you at the other end and I can, we can have this conversation. And this is the idea that the true mirror, and I've done a lot of different studies with this, lots and lots of um, interviews with people, probably more than 10,000 over the last 20 years. And some people will get, immediately get it and go, oh my God, whoa, whoa, that's so cool, look at, whoa, like that. And there's this whole energy, and other people are like, I don't get it, what are you talking about? And I'll say, smile, and I go like this. And I say, no, your real smile. And I go, no, your other real, and then, you know, okay, there it is. And we can tell, we can tell what a real smile is just through these tiny little micro expressions. And they belong where they belong. Left belongs on the left, right on the right. So there's a whole theory here, there's a whole story about what, what's possible. There's examples, like here's an example of one of my friends who posted this on Facebook, and it's just one of these crazy candid shots. And you can see her smiling, right? And this is her genuine smile. So when you look in her eyes in this picture, just gauge your feeling. You, you want to smile back. I mean, it's warm. She, she's, she's happy. You can feel it. And it's genuine. So now when I flip it, look at what happens. All of a sudden, it's like, eh, it kind of looks like kind of strange or fake. And certainly you don't respond to it in a way that, that's actually smiling. But when she looks in the mirror, very quickly that smile is going to fade. And she'll end up just going like this to herself as opposed to this, okay? 
So then the second thing, here's another example. I, I call it the Bruce Willis smirk test. Here's Bruce Willis, and this is his smirk as we, as we know it. And you can see there's warmth there, there's charm. He's, he's kind of having fun, and, and, and you're in on it. You know, like he, he, it's, he's having fun and, on something, you know, and, uh, and, and sharing it with you. Now when you flip it, all of a sudden that same exact expression suddenly is snarky and sarcastic and kind of mean. And it's like he's, he's kind of challenging you. It's like, yeah, you know. And this is just having it flipped. So imagine what happens when he looks in the mirror. And you actually can deconstruct, de deconstruct this picture and look at the left side and the right. And it's just the right side is feeling and the left side is, is logic and it just belongs there. So when you flip it, suddenly you're seeing logic on the feeling side and feeling on the logic it just doesn't match. So that's kind of the idea of the true mirror. We've spent a lot of time figuring out how to get rid of the line in the center. See this? This is where the mirrors meet, and you can tell there's no line there. This is critical because that line goes normally right through your eyes. So be able to do this where I can stand back here and go, hey, there you are. This is the magic of the true mirror. So I hope that this is an interesting introduction to it. I know that there's a lot of work that would have to happen for getting this into a presentation style talk, but there's a lot of examples. Um, this, this is a real phenomena that's been proven to me and thousands of other people. Um, I have tons of testimonials where people just go, oh my God, you know, are people crying? And one woman said, oh my God, now I know why people like me. And start crying, you know, and, and, and of course you like this woman. She was lovely. And she never got to see that. Backwards, it was all just gone. So for the first time, she, she understood. It's like, why are people so nice to her all the time? Without, you know, feeling like she deserved it. And she suddenly goes, well, of course I do. I'm, I'm, look, that's, I'm lovely. <laughs> so this is the idea. And um, if you want any more information, I'd be more than happy to talk to you. And also to um, send you a true mirror so you can see what, uh, what this is all about. Thanks very much.